Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday to you. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Hey, listen, today's manner is a really important one, and it's about congratulating others when they do something well. We do it in the classroom with our awesome slips. I know you do it in your classroom with other things you're doing, from classroom compliments to smileys and frownies, a good behavior game. I know we see it. So <clears throat> here's the thought. When you are actually congratulating someone, there's a couple different ways to do that. At school, we obviously know that um, we high five and do all those kind of things to say good job congratulations whatever the case but there's another way we do that when we all get together or even when you're all in your classroom that's by clapping and <clears throat> there are sometimes you can go to events where screaming yelling doing those things whistling would is completely appropriate there's other times when it's not <clears throat> when it's a little bit more formal or when you want to try to get through something quickly so um, the things that we tell you to do at school is that clapping should last for about three seconds and it should be with your fingers hitting the palm of your hand here, and you clap this way. And again, it lasts for about three seconds, and then we're done. We're not trying to get the last clap. We're not trying to get the loudest clap. We're just clapping. We're smiling um, to tell people they did something well. That could be if somebody went up and solved a problem on the board. It could be that somebody got 100% on their spelling test or on another test in the classroom or in health, for example. Um, it might be that Miss O'Mara wants to point out a kiddo who did something really well on an assignment in the library. It's clapping. That's all it is. So um, at school, that's what we ask you to do. If you go on to sports teams, there are times when we're not necessarily congratulating somebody, but we're also like doing a lineup and we just do like two claps and it's done. Um, your teachers in some classrooms here at school do what they call a power clap where they just say power clap on three, one, two, three, boom. And it's done. Everybody does one clap just to say, nice job, we like what you're thinking, we like what you're doing, well done, well done, job well done. So that's the manner for today, is congratulate others when they do something well. Clapping should last for about three seconds at the appropriate volume. Now there's one more place where, because we've already done this manner, it's important for you also to congratulate people outside playing sports. So if you're playing a football game, it's completely appropriate to tell the other team good job. It's appropriate for whoever loses to make sure you're telling the other team good job and not to be frustrated. Remember, we don't show anger, those kind of things. So work on this manner of um, making sure that you are celebrating others when they do something well, congratulating others when they do something well, because it just makes our place so warm and welcoming to be a part of. It just feels good. It feels good when people clap for you and tell you good job and they're proud of you. You get awesome slips. We do a lot of other things, maybe just a house point here and there. There's lots of great ways to celebrate each other in your classroom every single day. It's Monday. Make it great and have an awesome week. We'll talk to you soon.